Fun fact, a Florida man was fined $48,000 by the FCC for installing a cell phone jamming device in his car. 60-year-old Jason Humphrey was tired of seeing people use their cell phones while driving on his daily commute between Sefner and Tampa on Interstate 4, so he decided to take matters into his own hands and installed a cell phone signal jamming device behind the passenger seat of his car so anyone driving near him wouldn't have service. For two years, Jason's device wreaked havoc on Interstate 4. Since his jamming device was so powerful, it would block police and first responder radio communications, as well as disrupt cell phone towers. Metro PCS eventually contacted the FCC and said they had noticed a pattern of one of their cell phone towers going down at the same point along I-4 during the morning and evening commute hours on weekdays. The police then set up an interference detection device in that spot along the interstate, and a few days later, Jason drove past. The police pulled him over and they immediately knew they had their man because as soon as they approached his vehicle, their radios lost their signal.